Japan, a different kind of place. Japan is an interesting place to live and do business, but one need to be aware of the many differences in social and business interactions. Considering living or doing business in Japan, one need to prepare themselves because it takes much time to become adjusted to the many differences in social and business etiquette. It's important to learn these differences and how to properly conduct yourself, because not doing so can be taken as disrespectful and in some situations even ruin relationships. This speech will discuss the facts and statistics of Japan, as well as highlight the many differences in the social and business etiquette of the country. We'll begin by discussing the factual information of Japan, including location, population statistics, and weather. Japan is an island chain located between the North Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Japan. If you were looking for it on a map, you would find it just southeast of China. The weather of Japan is much like that of the United States, but one needs to prepare themselves for the rainy season that comes in the month of June. The capital city of Japan is Tokyo and is a vast and fast-moving city. Japan's population is approximately 127 million with 99% of the population being composed of people of Japanese ethnicity. Japanese is the primary language of the country, although there are different dialects spoken in different areas. There are many religions practiced in Japan, but the main religions are Shinto and Buddhism. We will now discuss the social, culture, and etiquette of the country, Japan. Japan's social culture and etiquette is much different than that of the United States. The people of Japan place much emphasis on saving face, harmony, and their hierarchical structure. Openly criticizing someone, insulting them, or putting them on the spot should always be avoided. It is also considered rude to introduce yourself. Bowing is part of Japanese culture and is dependent on the hierarchical structure. The, the older someone is, or the higher their status, the farther you bow. Harmony and teamwork are key values in Japanese society. These, these values are taught to children as young as preschool. Independence is actually discouraged. The main focuses of Japanese society are politeness, personal responsibility, and working as a team to achieve the greater good for the group. <coughs> the Japanese take much meaning from nonverbal communications, so it is important to understand the meanings of nonverbal signs. It would be a good recommendation for foreigners to purchase the book for Gaijin's or foreigners, which explains the interpretations of these various signs. In any situation, In any situation where people will be sitting at a table, the person of the highest rank or old, eldest person is usually seated furthest from the door. Everyone afterwards is seated in order of their age or status until the lowest status or youngest person is seated with their back facing the door. situation, it is important to remember to never point your chopsticks or set them down crossed. You also want to remember to set your chopsticks on the chopstick rest in between eating and conversation. You also want to remember to always wait for the highest status person to begin eating before everyone else. We will now discuss the business protocol and etiquette of Japan. The, the, there's a strict protocol to follow while doing business in Japan. The Japanese understand that it's hard to adapt to their cultures, and as long as you show genuine effort and respect, they're willing to work with you. The Japanese will go out of their way to help you, although they may be embarrassed by their own lack of understanding or English language ability. The 
Japanese also prefer to establish strong personal relationships with the people they do business with. Being introduced by someone who's already established a relationship with the business and the employees is helpful in them placing you in the hierarchy structure relative to themselves. It is expected that men and women dress conservatively and men should always wear dark colored business suits. Appointments are required for meetings and if possible should be made weeks in advance. Punctuality is very important to the Japanese businessman and it is considered disrespectful to be late for appointments. Okay. One should always uh, one should always prepare to meet with a group rather than one individual and bring plenty of literature for the group, including client testimonies and business cards. It is also recommended to invest in a good business card with one side in Japanese. When presenting these business cards, make sure they're in good quality and always give them out Japanese side up. Now when presenting or receiving business cards, it is important to do so with both hands and respect the card as if it is the actual person. Take your time to examine the cards and then place them on the table in front of you according to the seating arrangement of the room. Once the business meeting is over, once the business meeting is over, you can put the business cards in a business card case or portfolio. Now as we come to a close, these are the things you need to remember. The social and business culture slash etiquette of Japan is much different than that of the United States. Personal conduct can seriously affect relationships and business opportunities and it is important to learn proper etiquette. Make sure to always save face and show good manners. Harmony is key value and it is important to work together as a team. Be aware of the hierarchical structure and sure the be sure to show the proper level of respect to those of higher age or status. The Japanese put much value in body language and facial expressions, so be aware of what you do. When conducting with business with others, remember that the Japanese prefer to establish personal relationship with those they have business with. If possible, make appointments weeks in advance and always be on time. If you will be likely meeting a group, make sure you bring the adequate amount of literature and business cards for everyone. As long as you conduct yourself with respect and show that you take your job seriously, the people will understand any slip-ups and will always be willing to help you. If you honestly try to learn the ways and work hard to prove your ability, the business people of Japan will become lifelong partners.